Hey y'all, it's Janine and welcome back to my channel for another nail tutorial. Uh, this is another one that's going to be using stickers and it is so simple but it has absolutely beautiful results. I think you're really going to enjoy it. I started by painting my nails with one coat of this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Polish and it is just the most gorgeous silver. I can't get over how opaque it is and the name of it is Celeb City. Um, it really it only took one coat to paint my nails a very opaque coat. Um, I just can't get over how gorgeous it is. And then I went ahead and took my same um, color labels, these little circular labels. Um, they're the three quarter inch labels by Avery. You can get it at any office supply store or even possibly your dollar store or Walmart. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is take this uh, gray, this kind of uh, shimmery gray. It's called just simply gunmetal. Also another Sally Hansen Extreme Wear color. And I'm just going to paint the rest of my nails with it. Yeah. I'm going to show you that real quick. Now my last tutorial, I paint, after I painted each nail, uh, I took the label off immediately after painting the nail. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to have to leave the label on for the next step. So I'm hoping that everything turns out okay and that the label comes up and uh, doesn't peel any fingernail polish up with it. But uh, anyway, so I'm just going to do that for each nail. I'm just going to paint them with this gunmetal color and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so I've got one coat of that uh, Sally Hansen gunmetal painted all on my nails. I forgot to mention, of course, I'm sure you can see that the labels I just put just to kind of do that half moon uh, type manicure. So I'm doing it, you know, the same on, on all fingers. And now what I'm going to do is take Bundle Ma Monster Plate number 19, and I'm just going to use this uh, circular, kind of abstract circular uh, design on it. And I'm going to be taking another Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Polish, this time in Blackout. Um, and this is a really nice opaque black. It's really good for stamping. So if you don't want to fork out the money for those expensive uh, Conad polishes, uh, you can just use this. And I'm just going to be taking my Conad stamping system and just paint the design. And in the usual manner, give it a scrape. And this design is actually a little bit, um, it's got the finer, smaller details. See, I didn't get a good transfer that time. And so what I recommend doing with it is making sure you get a good coat of polish on it. I've used this one before. Um, and what I found with it is make sure you've got a good coat of polish. And then don't scrape it very hard. Just give it a light scrape so you don't pick up too much of it and you'll get a better transfer. And see it transferred much better that time. And then uh, in the usual manner, just line it up on your nail and roll it on. Yeah, I've got a couple, of, you might need to push down a couple of spots. Alright, I'll show you that one more time. I'm sure you guys have already seen a zillion Conan to tutorials rather. And that transferred pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish stamping the rest of my nails. And then once that thoroughly dries, and you want to make sure that your polish is completely dry before you top coat, otherwise it'll smear it. But anyway, after it dries and I top coat, then I'll come back with pictures of the finished design. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm sorry, one last thing, and then I promise this will be the end of the video. It was just fun. I uh, peeled that sticker off, and it was kind of fun watching the reveal you know, uh, how it came out, so I thought you guys might enjoy seeing that. So, uh, no big uh, technique here, just gently peel it off. 
and that's what we get. Uh, I love it. It really came out great. Uh, the stickers did a wonderful job of giving me that fantastic half moon kind of shape. And this manicure just turned out better than I expected. And that's always fun when that happens. So thanks again for watching. And, and again, there's going to be some pictures at the end of the video. And you guys have a great one.